According to the Delight report, Labadi Beach Hotel made a gross profit of 158 million cities in 2023. The hotel accrued administrative expenses of over 55 million cities and over 44 million cities as distribution expenses. It also made an operating profit of over 58 million cities in the same month of December and a profit before tax of over 72 million cities. In 2022, the hotel accrued over 39 million cities in profits before tax and over 9 million cities in 2021. The management of the hotel paid a dividend of 5 million cities for the year ended 2022 and a final dividend of 10 million cities for the year 2021. The remaining four hotels are however yet to be revived to make the needed profit. In the case of the Labadi Beach Hotel, the Senate board constituted a committee that revamped its operations. Labor experts and labor unions have suggested a similar committee to address the challenges of the other four hotels. The Secretary General of the Trade Union Congress, Dr. Yaoba, has requested a stakeholder engagement with SNIT to address challenges bedeviling the pension sector. We are ready to work together with SNIT board to make sure that the image that has gone out about SNIT is changed. But more importantly, we want to work together as stakeholders, organized labor, employers, SNED board, government, to ensure that our investment in SNED is sustainable. Chairman of the forum, Isaac Bampoado, rather proposed a total restructuring of SNED to allow labor to manage the pension funds. We are not convinced, and we tell them in plain language, we are not convinced with what you are telling us. We are not convinced. We are not convinced at all, and we've asked for... We're going to ask for a total restructure of SNIT because this is not how you should, you, should, you should manage workers' money. And it's because the money is, this is not government money, this is workers' money. And what we we'll say, why should government be appointing even a chair to the SNIT board? But would the government agree to the proposal? Section 35 of the Pensions Act 766 mandates the president to make appointments to the SNIT board. Organized Labour has engaged the Minister of Pensions, Ignatius Balfour, to register its displeasure over the sale of the hotels. I have already met with management of SNIT. I have met with the board of MPRA. And I'm still consulting. Labour is the third stakeholder I have met. So why, why are you rising? Just uh, allow me to uh, have a full disclosure of uh, the issues pertaining to the topical issues um, um, around now. Until the cabinet makes a firm decision whether Senate should proceed with the sale, Labour has said Senate should cancel the deal. Dana Lopoku, TV3 News, Accra.